If you'd like to add just your microphone audio, your mic audio into OBS from Wavelink, this is going to be the tutorial for you. The mic is going into your computer. It's going through the Wavelink software. And now we're going to connect that over to OBS. Here's how you do that precisely. So just to set the stage here, we already have the mic added here in our Wavelink software. Got a tutorial where I already did all that. We already did our best settings in Windows and OBS. If you miss those tutorials, go watch those first because those are essential so that you can pull this off correctly right now. Got it? So to connect the microphone as you have mixed it and as you have done the settings already here in Wavelink, that input exactly the way you already set it up in Wavelink, the way you bring that over to OBS directly, only the mic, is to go ahead and click the plus button down here under sources and to click audio input capture. Then what you're going to do is you're going to type in the word mic here or whatever you want to call it. Mic makes the most sense. And the device you're going to select here, this is very important, do not leave it on default. It could choose whatever you have as your system default. Manually select mic in. Got it? And then once you do that, then you hit OK. And it's going to pull that source in right here. And as you can see, the mic and only the mic is here, not any other inputs I have in my mixer here. Not Spotify, not game audio, not PowerPoint, none of that stuff. Got it? Couple bonus settings that you guys can use here to make the microphone sound even better. What I like to do, just as a standard setup for my consulting clients, I like to go to the gear cog filters, and there's just a few filters that I like to add. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the plus button here, and the first filter I like to add is noise suppression. This is a very sensitive microphone with a lot of background noise, so I like to hit OK, and that'll kill the background noise with the RN noise good quality filter. Kill all background noise, check. Listen to it, make sure you're comfortable with the way it sounds, but I like it. The next filter I like to add is a compressor filter. Further solidifies the sound, the tightness of this microphone, hit OK. And then the setting I like to use here under ratio is dropping that down to a four to one compression ratio. Check out your settings, listen to it, make sure you're comfortable with that. It's a good middle of the road setting to make it sound better. Then the last filter I like to add here under microphone plus button limiter. Why do you want to add a limiter? Just in case you cough, your dog starts barking, your kids smack your microphone, whatever. You want to make sure that you aren't blowing up the ears of your listeners. So what you're going to do here under your threshold for your limiter is you're going to bump that up to negative 3 dB. And all this does is it keeps your audio from going past negative 3 dB and, and hurting the ears essentially and the, the speakers and what have you of all your listeners. So now, as you can see, my audio will never go past this point right here on the audio mixer of negative 3 dB, no matter how loud I am. It will be compressed and it will be limited down uh, below. And as you can see, my audio is pretty hot. It's getting, it's starting to touch that negative 3 dB mark right here. You see that right here on the mixer? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my audio down by 2 dB. Where you want your microphone to be is just kind of in the yellow consistently and just poking into the red just a little bit, maybe peaking towards negative 5 dB, but never going above negative 5 dB. That means your audio is well mixed and you are having a loud volume, but it is not a volume that is um, is peaking and is getting distorted. That's how you add your mic directly to OBS using Wavelink. Make that connection happen. Enjoy the Wavelink software, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.